Iron Print Porsche at topvelocity.net. Going to do a 2x throwing analysis here for softball. Out of the 2x programs with top velocity, they're for, for originally designed for baseball players, but they work really well with softball players just because there's similar mechanics for baseball and softball and throwing velocity in the field. You know, different from, we actually have a fast pitch uh, a velocity program for softball that's going to be specific to the underhand throw, but it's an overhand throw that is really identical or the same between the sports of softball and baseball. I was lucky to get some, some footage here, not ideal footage, of the Virginia shortstop, and uh, I think this will help for a good comparison for Jayla here. We're gonna. There's one issue that I have with the girl with Virginia on her throwing mechanics, and actually, Jayla, you do better. But I think it's gonna provide a good analysis here. So let's let's move through the analysis. So the Virginia player, you can see <clears throat> she has a lot of momentum uh, covering, or really trying to cover her position. She's behind the bag, so she's got a lot of energy moving towards first base right now, which is going to help with her velocity on her throw. So. Something that you don't have as much in this throw, and we can definitely get a lot of ball speed on, based on how much momentum we can get moving into our throw. Now, we talk about the drive shuffle step, which is really what helps generate that momentum. It would be after you field the ball right there, a big drive um, before you shuffle your feet. But she's kind of like doing a combo step where it's like drive, shuffle together. I talk about that in the 2X programs. You know, middle infielders, catchers catch, get more in those combo steps where it's like their feet are just gathering um, as they start to organize themselves and get prepared for their final, uh, what I call foot plant, or they load that back leg and they start their throw. Um, outfielders will typically be able to generate more momentum out of like a pre-drive before they catch the ball, and then they shuffle together kind of gather themselves and then plant their foot and start their throw. So we're seeing here kind of her doing this combo step, kind of like just shuffling the feet to get uh, the arm or, you know, to get the ball into the throwing arm and then start to uh, feel in control of the momentum and, and, and start the throw. So, but still, she's got a lot of energy. <clears throat> so when she does after she gathers her feet and she plants right here with that back foot, she keeps that momentum going, <clears throat> and she closes her shoulders as she separates her hands, and she can she kind of keeps her hips open a little bit, um, not trying to completely close off to make a strong throw. I mean, we're just behind the bag here, but she does keep her momentum going, like I said, as she opens front foot, and there's definitely a lot of internal rotation and some extension coming out of the back leg as she goes into front foot. If you just watch that knee, it turns down really hard. Her foot even kicks back after front foot strike when she does that, how it kind of kicks back and pulls in. But I would say there's definitely a lot of internal rotation there. A little bit of extension out of, out, of, out of the ankle to help push the hip through. And then she hits front foot strike and stabilizes really well with the front leg to help push the hips open. And then she's still, if we go back like one little frame, she's still staying very close, not pulling the glove side early. All good things. So if we watch you, you're actually doing a similar thing. So after you, you shuffle step, you plant right here. You keep your momentum going. You're, you're you know, getting the ball up inside 90. You can see she doesn't even really do that. She's a little bit longer with her back arm. Um, I, I like I like something around 90. I don't like going too inside 90, I think, what you're doing here. Um, but it's up to you. I think that really comes down to shoulder strength. Someone doesn't, you, if you don't feel like you don't have a lot of shoulder strength, you're going to want to probably go more inside 90. So getting more upper body strength, you might feel you could go more towards 90, which will delay your arm even more and potentially can generate um, you know, if you have good separation, more arm speeds. But as you're cocking your arm and coming out of your back leg, you do is the same thing. You get good internal rotation. There's just not a lot of extension. Where because of the you didn't have as much momentum as her, you should be trying to pick up that with some more back leg extension and drive. So specifically, not so much through the knee, specifically through 
loading and driving through that ankle and feeling that hip flexor push through as that back ankle drives. So it's so the one thing with 2X, we want to load into the back lower leg and we want to try to almost jump out of it in the front foot, not going vertical. What I mean is the ankle really tries to push out of it hard as we internally rotate and what we'll feel is we'll feel this hip push up harder. So if we, if we go to with the Virginia girl, we can see right here as she starts to open up, we see her, her hips pushing up pretty hard. We, you know, as we see extension in that back leg, we see your leg uh, pretty much stacked knee over hip. We don't see really the hips pushing forward, okay, in the front foot strike. So that's the only thing I'm seeing is just the lack of power that, that the Virginia shortstop has uh, as you go into front foot strike. Just not enough momentum and not enough drive coming out of this lower leg to push that hip through really hard. Um, as you stabilize and extend your front leg. I think your front leg is great. I love your glove side. You're not pulling your glove side either. This is what you do better than her. When you go into shoulder rotation, you, she also gets, you know, a little bit of layback. I think her issues is she's a little bit low on the arm slot. She needs to be just above shoulder height so the arm can externally rotate more. <clears throat> and then when she goes to pitch relay, she, she extends out the pitch release. So I wouldn't, or throw, you know, throw release, I'm saying pitch release. So I wouldn't want to be in full extension there. It's harder on the elbow, and it's going to also put your hands on the side of the ball, and you're going to put a little movement on the ball. I know she's not making a long throw, but if she's making a long throw from shortstop, she could be throwing a little, you know, the ball to first base with a little movement on the ball. So your your release point is more, is more up, more over the top. That's going to create a better spin on the ball, a better throw. So uh, I really like once you're, you go into shoulder rotation, I like your arm path to, to release. Um, um, I think the, the key issue t with you was getting more energy through your hips. So more momentum initially, being a little more aggressive in into your throw, definitely more load and drive into internal rotation out of the back ankle. And that's just keeping your weight on that back leg as long as possible. That's why we like to use those King of the Hill plates. You might want to try some of the King of Hill plates and learn what it's like to load and drive out of that ankle. And then um, from there, it's doing what you're doing well. You're separating hips from shoulders well. Um, like I said, you might want to not be so inside 90, but it's, it's not a big deal. Um, as your upper body strength gets better and you stabilize, stabilize well, it's just as you pick up more momentum, can you continue to stabilize that well will be key. And then the other thing too is into, into extension, you know, letting your trunk push out maybe a little bit more, which it should if you had more energy, more energy through the hips. And then doing everything else the way you're doing it with your good arm path uh, and, and to release. So I, I think you're in a great position. You're very good mechanics. Uh, for you, it's just really developing your athleticism so you can move with more energy, more, more explosiveness, uh, and just learning how to move that ground up uh, through the back leg through 2X, extension of the ankle through hip, and just feeling that energy transfer as you continue to stabilize good front left. So I hope this helps. Things that you could work on in the 2X drills would be um, all those initial movements, uh, drive shuffle steps, um, and then the 2X to separation aspects as you really try to increase your athleticism through all the lifting and everything. So wish you the best.